first thing we do when we start a training is to make a very strong base in the heart. The heart meaning a space of acceptance, a space where you feel safe, that you can open up and you're not gonna be judged. So we take it slow. The first day is a slow day. We, we enter into the heart. We enter into how they feel right now, into the present moment. We give them the idea that whatever they are like right now, whatever they feel right now is okay and that they should not reject it, that they don't need to present their best face to each other. You know, that's what people do sometimes. They come to a group and they try to be at their best behavior. And then after a few days, it gets very exhausting to be at your best behavior. And then slowly, slowly you start showing what is really going on in you. You reveal also parts that are difficult for you. Uh, and as you do that, you get visible. You get visible for yourself, for the other participants, and also for us. This is a hugely important step, because only if you expose, only if you show your true colors, real change can happen. So we take a lot of care to create an atmosphere in which people can let go more and more without being afraid of being judged. Many people have many wounds around sexuality, like places where they've been hiding, they've been holding for themselves, afraid to expose, afraid to be judged, afraid to be labeled. So this is always the first step for us, to build a solid base in what we call the heart. We carry a lot of negative memories in the body. Uh, a lot of repression, a lot of confusion in relation to our own energy. So a big part of this training is to physically start accessing your energy and opening the body and cleaning the body from these old uh, tight memories. So we do a lot of breathing during the training, we do a lot of exercise that actually slowly and gently start to open the body so you can feel more energy, so you can access your strength in a way. When we are small, we feel. We are very connected to our body. Actually, that's the thing we know how to do, to be in our body and to feel. And then things happen to us, some of them difficult, some of them extremely difficult, so difficult that you cannot allow yourself to really feel them. What happens is, in these moments, we disassociate from feeling. And what that means is we leave the body. And when we leave the body, where do we go? We go to the mind. The mind is our safety. So we imagine things were going to be all right. We remember beautiful moments. We think uh, of a golden future, uh, Mama and Papa loving us all the time. And so basically, by and by, we leave the body and enter the mind. And that's where most adults are. So when we say feel, they say, I, 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 can't, I know how to do that. But many of them don't really know how to do that. Because feeling is not something that happens in the mind. Feeling is something that happens in the body. So we need to teach them how to slowly, slowly connect to the body again. And when they come into the body, and that's the wonderful thing, when they come into the body, they come into the here and now, because the body always lives in the here and now. They become aware of things that are happening right now. For instance, their breath. The breath is going in, the breath is going out. Right now. So whenever they become aware of something like this, they learn how to be in the here and now. And the here and now is a wonderful moment for intimacy. If both partners are in the here and now, they can really meet without all these thoughts in between, all these glasses of trauma and pain that separate them. So that's what we teach. That is a big part of what we teach.